Every year, more than 300,000 tourists come to the remote Valdez Peninsula in Argentina, famous for being home to thousands of southern right whales between April and December. We've come to visit Argentina and we were dreaming of seeing the whales. That's why we came to Puerto Madryn. It's a unique place in the world. The trip, the view, the sea, the cold, it's all special. <laughs> On land or by boat, tourists can enjoy watching the 4,000 whales that every year swim all the way from the Antarctic to the warmer waters of southern Argentina, where they reproduce, give birth and nurse their calves. The unique spectacle is also perfect for scientific research. The peninsula is surrounded by beaches and cliffs. From the cliffs you can watch the whales on the surface for many hours, so it's an ideal place to study their behaviour. They spend a lot of time here during the year and can be followed for months, and the same individuals, the females, that we know come back here year after year bringing new calves. So it's really one of the world's best places to study whales. A group of researchers and a boat company decided to team up to bring science and tourism together. While tourists learn about the animals and their habitat, scientists write for free and can further observe the mammals above and underwater. We register how they get closer, when, for how long, and their behavior. We also look at which groups get closer, if it's a mother with a calf, and see what they do. It's a touristic activity that shows once more that it's not necessary to kill whales to study them. With harmless techniques, we can know what they do below water. Though the numbers are growing since whaling became illegal, they're not out of danger yet. Ship strikes, entanglement in nets, and attacks by seagulls continue to threaten the whales. Still, some scientists are hopeful that working with the tourism industry will help protect the lives of these huge mammals.